Writing Equations for Proportions The constant of proportionality and the unit rate are equivalent. We can use the constant of proportionality to help write equations using proportional relationships. By transforming the equation from k equals y over x, focusing on the constant of proportionality and what that equals, and transforming it to y equals kx, we can write an equation that can be applied to various situations. Now remember, x is the independent variable and y is the dependent variable. This means that a change in x will affect y. So here's an example. We have you are buying Jersey tomatoes for a cost of two pounds for $3.98. Write an equation to represent the proportional relationship. So we can define our variables are what are the two things we're talking about for the situation. Well, we have the cost of two pounds of tomatoes for $3.98. So we're talking about a cost, the $3.98, for a certain amount of pounds or the weight of tomatoes. So let's let C equal the cost and P equal the pounds. So the first thing we can do is use the numbers we're given to determine the unit rate and then use that unit rate as the constant of proportionality to write an equation to relate the two quantities. Well, using the $3.98 and the two pounds, that's like our, that's our P value and our C value, which we can also think of as an X value and a Y value. So if K is equal, again, remember to Y over X, to find the unit rate, we can do Y over X or that ratio of two of 398, 3.98 divided by two, which gives us 1.99 divided by one which is $1.99 per pound. So $1.99 per pound equals K. So that's the constant of proportionality. So now we can use that number to write an equation to relate the two quantities. So keeping in mind Y equals KX, well now we're using C and P for the cost in the pounds instead of Y and X. So it would be C equals KP. So if we substitute in K for our dollar and 99 cents or 1.99 the equation would be c equals 1.99 p and that would relate any cost with any amount of pounds of tomatoes let's do another example at the candy store you purchase five pounds for two, $22.45 write an equation to represent the proportional relationship so we're defining again the variable C for cost and P for now it's pounds of candy instead of pounds of tomatoes. But again, the process is the same. We're going to use the two numbers given to find the unit rate and then write an equation to relate the two quantities. So our two numbers, we have 22.45 for the cost and we have five pounds for the amount of pounds. So again, K equals Y over X. So think that X is C and Y is P. So if we want to find the unit rate, we're going to do the Y value over the X value. We're going to do 22.45 over 5, which is 4.49 over 1. So the constant of proportionality K is equal to 4.49 or $4.49 per 1 pound. So now we can take our Y equals KX equation, except relate it with the variables C and P. So C equals KP, and if we substitute in 4.49 for K, we're going to get the equation that relates the two quantities as C equals 4.49P. Now we can also look and write equations using a table. Here's an example. We have gallons and miles. So write an equation to represent the proportional relationship shown in the table. So again, first we need to find the unit rate and then we need to write the equation. So let's define the variable G for gallons and M for miles, where we can think that G is X like X and M is acting like Y, thinking like X and Y in our table, those values. So if K is equal to Y over X, we have now K is equal to M over G. So we're, you can really look at any column in your table. So we're here in this example just looking at the first column. So we're looking at 247 miles over 10 gallons. 
which has a unit rate is 24.7 over 1. So now we have our equation instead of y equals kx, we have m equals kg. That's our little intermediate step. Oop. So now k is going to be 24.7. So our equation is m equals 24.7g. So again, when writing equations, finding that constant of proportionality by finding the unit rate is always the first step. And then using that y equals kx format with whatever variables you have and putting it in that format is the second step.